Hi, Aries. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a no contact love reading, no communication. Today, I'm going to ask Spirit, what is your person thinking and feeling? What are the intentions behind this connection? Where is this connection headed? Anything Spirit wants to share with me. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, if you could please share with me any messages of guidance, any um any energy around this connection that you need to share with us today? What do you want my Aries to know? I am listening for you now. Let's see what they have. I have blame. It's all your fault. Somebody pointing the finger. Is somebody blaming you or were you blaming them? Is there, you know, we're, we're not talking because one of us is stubborn and saying, no, it's your fault. <laughs> is there a fault? A cold, giving you an ice cold shoulder, okay, giving you the cold, cold treatment. I've got hope, there's hope, a breakthrough, breaking through that fence, breaking through the barrier. That's good, that's encouraging. I have pride, prideful behavior. So is their ego at stake? Are they holding back because of their ego? What is going on here? Unfulfilled. Serious inadequacies. I haven't been happy for a while. I didn't share with you I wasn't happy or I can't make you happy. You know, there's nothing I can do. If somebody says to you, uh, I don't know what I can do anymore. Nothing I do makes you happy. You know, is that is that going on in this connection? Is there fear? Did they run from fear? Did they run from being scared of this connection, committing to this connection, commitment? What is going on in this connection? Spirit saying bottom of the deck, you still feel that this is a purposeful connection. You still feel that this is a soul connection. So you're not willing to walk away from this energy. So let's see what your person is thinking and feeling. Spirit, please share with me. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please hit that like button, comment below. Spirit, please share with me. What is my person thinking and feeling? What do we have? I have a two of pentacles, a crossroads, going back and forth with some, some different choices in their life. Eight of pentacles. I have a queen of wands and a king of cups. I have no doubt in my mind this person still loves you very much. I, I really do. I feel like they are at a crossroads in another area of their life that they're struggling with. Um, I can't do it all. I can't give you everything that you're asking. Like the demands, they in their mind, it's too demanding somehow. Either I can't give you what you want or I can't make you happy or everything I say and do is still not enough. Like something along those, whether it's true or not, it's I feel like that's how they're thinking. And it's I'm it's taking me away from other priorities in my life. So they could be pushing you away because they feel like they're not getting something else done in their life that they're supposed to be doing. And I need to put myself first. I need to put my, my work first. I need to put, um, you know, improving areas of my life, a priority over taking care of you. So if, if you have a relationship where they feel that they're always the ones who's putting, putting out your fires or, that they're giving you more than they're receiving. And they may have said, you know, it's always about you. It's always about what you need, what you want. So if they're throwing that back at you, it's it's like they took back their energy with, I want to put myself first, okay? And if it's the opposite, where you are always putting them first and you are always there for them, um, they're going to realize that they're out there doing it all by themselves right now. And that it's harder to do it by themselves. So right now, I'm, I'm not questioning the, the emotions behind it. I'm just questioning like their actions, I guess. Let's see where we're headed. Three of Cups. I have a celebration. I have a chariot. Okay. Overcoming something, moving forward. That feels good to me. Page of Swords. I, I'm, I, I just got a real ray of hope that this person is thinking about 
you know, how could we repair this damage and almost what would it be like if we were back together? You know, what would, what would it be like? Could, would, could we um, rekindle this love? Could we, um, could we find a way to make this work? So I am leaning in the direction of rekindling, you know, this love. And I, I don't feel like it had anything to do with how much they love you. I, I, I feel like it has to do with priorities or they were being taken for granted or they feel like they weren't putting themselves first or they were always putting you first over themselves and they want to work on another area of their life. So, but they need to share that with you. They can have everything. They can, you know, achieve the goals and dreams that they want and, and have you at the same time. Ten of Pentacles, a lasting security. I want, I want more secure security in this connection. Financial security, a home, building a home, savings. There could be some financial issues in this connection. Where are we headed in the future? You know, if, if somebody is um, you know, they feel like they're supporting you in some way. They feel like you are, um, I don't want to say a burden, but if they, they're the ones that are always paying the bill or picking up the tab or something like that, and they don't feel like it's fair, there could be some resentments there. And that might be something that they were struggling with that I'm, I'm paying for things that I can't really afford to pay for. And they don't say it and they don't tell you, but uh, they resent you for it. So there's something connected around money in this in this connection also. Um, I'm an emperor. I want what I want. So there's a strong-willed individual. And then there's also, uh, but I love you. I, I do. I, I love you and I haven't let you go. Um, they can't let you go. That That's how it just came in to me. But they, at the same time, I feel like they're standing their ground for something that they feel like they're entitled to or they want. And until, you know, they get their way, so to speak, um, or something in their mind switches. But right now, I feel like they're being selfish and they're asking, like, I want more from me. Let's get some signs. I did just get a Pisces feeling. I got a Libra. Um, I have a Leo energy, Cancer Scorpio, uh, Gemini, and a Taurus. Okay, so we'll grab some of the signs. All right, so let's see what they're saying. Let's see. What's, I, I don't want to lose you. Yeah, I, I don't think that their feelings have changed for you. I really don't. I, I feel that they are taking some space and time to figure out, you know, I guess how to make it all work, you know, their life, um, is it give and take? Is it fair? Is it equal? Can they work on their hopes and dreams in this connection? Can they do it all? Like, I, I guess they just took a step back to try to figure themselves out a little bit. I want to, I feel like I want to say, um, I want to stop running. I want to stop running. Um, I'm scared to contact you. So, I mean, I don't want anybody in my life that's scared. I want somebody who's confident, like an emperor, but it could be the truth hurts. You know, them saying the truth out loud hurts. It hurts you. It hurts them. So maybe it's just that they're scared of the truth. They're scared of admitting their feelings and their fears. Um, with you, the world disappears. I'm in a better place when I'm with you, for sure. Um, I've been playing mind games with you, you know, just, um, I don't know, keeping you waiting or um, breadcrumbing you, you know, and, um, you know, th that's painful, like keeping you holding on a string, you know, something like that. Um, you know, the breadcrumbing isn't fair, something like that. Let's see what else. I wonder sometimes if you're with me for the right reasons. They're, they could have said to you, you know, are you only with me for my money? Are you only with me because I help pay your bills? Are you only with me because I pick up the tab every time? You know, like there's some kind of resentment around money. So it could that could apply to you in either direction, but um, and it might not apply to all of you. But for some of you, there's some resentments around money that somehow this relationship is costing them, them money that they don't have um, or they can't give. I do want to make up to you. I want, I feel like I said the wrong things. 
It's safer to run than to face you. I know that they, they know they're playing mind games and they know that they need to stop. You know, the mind games, the mind games have to stop, you know, is, is how, how it's coming into me. So they know that they've been breadcrumbing you. They've been leading you on. They giving you mixed messages and it's all, it's all feels like it's all a um, delay um, strategy, you know, like that's their, that's their strategy to, to repair the damage is to delay it and delay it and delay it until um, they either, you know, can't live without you and they come running back or that you decide to move on and they really do lose you. So one of two things are going to happen, but they're de delaying like expressing their feelings. Spirit, please share with me. Um, I have a true love. I am still in love with you. I don't feel like I am chasing other people. I don't feel like, I feel like I can't be bothered. I, I just don't want anybody in my life right now. That That's more the energy. I'm daydreaming about you. The number 11. I have, I'm trying to love myself more. I want you to love yourself while I'm waiting. I have controlling. You can't tell me what to do. I, I don't think it was a physical issue. I don't feel like anybody hurt anybody, but you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me how to spend my money. You can't tell me who to be with, how to spend my time. I feel like that was part of um, an ongoing issue. Don't tell me who's with friends to hang out with. Don't tell me when I can see my family when I can't. Like you don't own me. You can't control me. So somebody taking back their power and, and just saying, I just am not going to be told what to do. There is great chemistry. I don't think they're going to deny that. I want you to love yourself. It's not about you. It's about I guess I need to find myself and I need to spend some time figuring out what it is I want. I, I need to grow up. There's a little bit of maturity there going on. I have a romance. This is a blank card. There's nothing on that card. And I have rejection. I'm fe I have fear of rejection. Hmm. I'm afraid that you're going to hurt me. You know, this, this feeling of I... I I, will you take me back? You know, like if I come back, the number 38 and the number eight, will you take me back? You know, there's definitely this fear of rejection because you're going to get to a point where if, if they are the runner and they're breadcrumbing you and they're leading you on and they're playing mind games and, and you don't know where you stand with them, you're going to get sick and tired of those games. You're, you are, you're in Aries, you're going to move on. You're not going to deal with this. And this, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid that you're already moving on. Like, I'm already afraid that, you know, because I'm not communicating with you or I'm checking out your social media, I'm checking out, you know, what you're posting, or they could be doing things like you post something on a social media site and they, they don't comment, but they leave a, you know, an, a smile emoji you know, and it's like that, it, that's the breadcrumbing feeling that I'm getting from them. So they're giving you a little bit of themselves, but they're not to let you know that they're still alive and that they are absolutely keeping an eye on things, but they are not, um, they're not stepping forward to be in your life. And that's when you're going to get tired of, of these games. So the games have to stop. Uh, I have strength, I'm trying to gather uh, strength. Okay. I'm trying to gather strength. I want to come forward. I want, how about I'm trying to gather strength. You know, I obviously have feelings for you. Otherwise I wouldn't be caring about, you know, who you're talking to on social media. I wouldn't even be looking there. Um, and I want to know, you know, I, I just want the feelings to end, you know, this kind of I want to say this game that we're playing, you know, they think it's a game. It's not a game. It's, it's a back and forth, you know, in and out, hot and cold. Um, and it's not a game. It's feelings and it's people and it's harsh words and it's hurtful. So 
it's not a game it's seven of cups they could have threatened there's other people out there i'm going to see what else is out there i've got to see you know what all my choices are you know unless you are the first choice you don't want this person back you know they've got to choose you spirit are they going to choose you are they going to choose you i have a four swords I have a four of pentacles. Yeah, they're taking their time. They they are patiently taking their time for some reason. Either I, this could be going on for a long time. Maybe you've been in a separation for a long time, and they are just you know doing their own thing and kind of communicating with you every once in a while, and just enough to keep you kind of on this um, invisible string attached to them. Four of cups. Look at this. Um, I'm also going to put that out there as 444, okay? Let me just look up that angel number for you because maybe there's a message in that. It's coming into me as 444. Four is stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock, and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and, and colleague. So they were more stable when they were with you. That That's something that... Um, they're realizing like whether it was emotionally stable, financially stable, they, they took better care of themselves when they were with you. Could be as simple as that. Let's see four, what 444 four, four is saying. Um, only because I just felt drawn to that. All right, let's see. They, they get 44. Let me see. I've got 44. Hold on. I just want to see if there's a 444. Four, four. I have 44. Four. Awesome. Yeah, I do have a 444. Four, four. Okay. So I have... Trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at this present mo moment and you are protected. Mm, that's interesting because it came into me as almost a feeling of I will be there if you need me, that if you something happened to you that like, like, let's say you had an emergency and they got a call saying there's an emergency, you need to show up, this person will show up. This person will show up when you need them, but they're taking their sweet time to, you know, come back to you for some reason. So spirit, will they come back? Let's just see something. I have a six of wands. I have a celebration. Okay. And I have an eight of cups. I have an eight of wands and I have an ace of swords. So they've got to remove some feelings that are, are no longer serving them. They've got to either decide for once and for all that you are the only one, you are the only choice and no more games. And then they move into, I've, you know, I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind that I will be there for you. I really like the message that they would show up for you no matter what, you know, that they love you so much still that if in the event that you really needed them and they got a call from somebody that they would show up for you. So that tells me they still love you. This is still moving forward with this chariot energy. So they are still thinking about someday we'll be together again. You know, there is a someday um, rekindling. I don't know when, but it's, it's definitely a someday. I'm sorry that they are kind of holding you hostage with this invisible emotional um, string. I'm not sure why they're doing it other than they just need more time. Twin flames have a tendency to do that. They'll go off on their own and kind of do their own thing for a while. And all of a sudden it pops into their head that they should come back. So we could be dealing with something like that. It just hurts so much to be away from you. Uh, I don't want I, I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So if they're working on themselves, if they're changing, they're growing, they're learning, they're doing, those are good things. No one under, understands me but but you. So you they know this connection's really strong. Why can't I tell you the truth? Until they're ready to come back and tell you the truth, until they're ready to tell you the true feelings. That's what they're running from. They're running out of admitting their own feelings, admitting their own truth as to they gave you excuses, Spirit just said. They gave you white lies they, to try not to hurt you. 
uh, try to give you like the low, the slow letdown, um, or they didn't even give you closure. I wish I could understand you. Okay, so we need to talk. Don't wait for me. Like this, this always comes into me more as if you do whatever you have to do, if you've got to move on and date other people, I'm not going to hold you hostage, but I can't make you any promises right now. You know, like that's how that kind of card comes into me. Um, but I am afraid to lose you. So somebody who wants it both ways. So they're just not ready. It's like someday, someday I will return to you. Like they have it in their mind that someday they'll return to you, but they're not committing to when. I can't handle your love. I ran from fear. What is the truth? I'm trying to find my true feelings. And I've tried to block this energy. I've tried to block out, you know, what I'm feeling. I don't want to feel anything right now. I just want to be alone. Why do I feel this way? They're running. They're hiding for sure. I wish I could be a different person. I wish I could be more for you. And let's get one more. Yeah, I can't promise you anything. It's like someday I want to come back. Someday I want to be with you. I keep, you know, keep letting you know that um, I care. I care and I love you and I, I you know, want, it, want you in my life somehow. And I would show up if there was an emergency. I would be there for you. You will always be in my life. But for some reason, this person is, yeah, I'm trying. I need to figure myself out. I'm going to say that that's really what's going on. Your person is just trying to do some soul searching right now. That's not really a great, they could do that within a relationship, but they feel like they can't. So they're just trying to figure themselves right now, what it is that they're feeling, where they want to go, what they want to do. And you have to be patient. You have to be um, able to live your life and, and grow and learn and change while you're waiting for this person. And if this person decides that they want to come back and they want to talk and they are in a better place, then you'll have more to talk about and you'll both be in a better place. So can we rekindle this love? We can, but the games have to stop. The breadcrumbing has to stop. And then someday we will be together once those things happen. So let's put this out to the universe. It's a hard time for you. I know that. Just keep um, keep your hope high. If, if this is meant to be, it will be. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.